Hello and welcome to episode 11 of my satisfactory tutorial Let's Play series. This episode is going to be on building the space elevator and seeing how much progress I can make with what it asks. Um, I know I can't remember exactly but I know it's a huge amount of resources so I'm not sure if I'll get it done in this episode. Um, probably going to have to leave it running overnight my factory to try and and I might have to make further machines so I can do that in this episode I guess if I need to um, but let's see so the let's take a look at the space factory it's under special uh, or space elevator I should say and there we go so re requires deliveries of special project parts to complete phases of project assembly Completing phases in the space elevator will unlock new tiers in the hub terminal. So that's how I can progress further into more tiers. Uh, you can see the resources that I will need is 1500 wire, 400 rods, 250 plates and 500 concrete. So concrete, I should have in there. that's the 500 concrete um, I need a copper wire so I'm going to need that um, I think it said 500 rods so there's 500 rods and the last thing is the plates right that should be enough materials and I think the best place for it is up top there out the way so as you can see I've done a bit of clearing hence why my um, biofuel, solid biofuel is working again <laughs> right so let's put it as far on the tip as I can if I can I think I can yeah hopefully oh there we go now the thing is I will need to access it so I've got to make sure that I can do that. I suppose I can build platforms up to it. Yeah, I suppose I'm going to have to go. I've got no choice. I've got to have to go with where I just put it. Where it turned blue. It's so massive. Let's try it there. Oh dear. You can crouch. Right, so there we go. There is <coughs> space elevator I think it's got a bit more to do yeah look at that massive structure and that's now put on my HUD, the space elevator, so that's a handy way for me if I'm ever out there exploring, which I will be, um, handy way to see back to my base. So really cool. Right, now let's see if I can work a way out of getting to it, because it's on a platform. The 
if it doesn't let me I'll have to just build it again oh won't be that concrete let's go get some more concrete let's take it all yeah I'm not sure if it will be if I can get access to it if I can't then I'll just have to rebuild it way and I might need to use uh, one of the lower ramps that one maybe even that might be too high. Oh, it doesn't like it. Disjointed. Will it allow me to attach to it? No. Yeah, I can do this off camera. I might have to do it again. Just because I don't like having to, to jump up to the platform. It's just anyway, so I'm not going to mess around with that. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so space elevator resource delivery one project assembly platform deliver delivery will unlock tiers three and four status load resources and I've got to give it 50 smart plating so that uh, is rotors and reinforced iron plates and then I'll eat they're, they're like I'm going to need two assembly machines for that so it's a good job I've got plenty of biofuel because I'm going to be sinking, going, burning through it all now but I need to do it in order to get to the coal so let's go set up a factory now which can do that yeah it's going to be raised on a platform I doubt I'll be able to do it anywhere up here so I might have to leave it like that oh no I'm sure I can line it up I'll do that when I'm not recording right let's carry on building so I need reinforced plates and I need rotors and rotors is a two-part process as well the reinforced plates can come off of this plate manufacturing so it's going to go uh, let's put down platforms to start with I'm going to take it this way if I can
don't really want to go any closer to the copper production. So I'm going to need to use conveyor splitters. So I usually will put them two spaces in front. this one and um, what I will do now with this is switch it from the bottom to the top that way I'll have access to plates and um, rods that it's made for me already <coughs> so if we have a look see that's full nearly and that's got quite a few so now the new ones will go into the tops and that's what I'm going to use for my factory So the next thing I'm going to need is, I'm probably going to need to make screws. So I want to take it this way now. So if I do that, I can get the plates going to there. And so we're going to want an assembly. Um, I can put that on number five. I can know number five. I've got for the constructor. So let's do it on number six. Can't afford. Oh, I need rotors. So I'm going to have to manually make rotors first of all. Four of them should be easy enough. make screws so that really ought to be my next constructor so let's do that oh let's check my power how much power have I got to play with I'm probably going to need to have yeah I'm going to need to build another biomass burner so I may as well do that first Put it over here. And can't afford it. What do I need? Oh, copper cables, wires, copper wires. I've used up all my wires on that <coughs> space elevator. take all of that um, how many cables have I got oh, I've got 184 that should be enough burner can go leave a gap to get through to the research I'll put it there yeah 
can get through to the research. Right, we're going to need to load it up. And we need to give it power. Oh, that's used up. That's got one slot, so I will put a new pole in. Let's put the new pole here. Right, there we go. So that's now giving me another 20, 30, I should say. It's giving me another 30 megawatts. But that means more biofuel I'm going to be burning through. Now there's two ways I could do this. I could either set up production lines for the reinforced metal plates and the rotors and then the smart plates or I can manually grind out the rotors and reinforced plates and just have an assembly for the smart plates. So let's take a look first at that option of doing just smart plates. Typical, put it the wrong way around. There we go, that way around. Right, notice straight away it's got two inputs and it has one output. So, okay, here's the parts we need. To do the smart plating, yeah, I need reinforced plates and rotors. And I need 50 of them. So I could, it is possible, it is doable quite easily to do the 50 by hand, in fact. Hmm. Yeah, I could actually do that because it's only 50. I think I've got enough, and it's only one of each. Let's have another look. Um, see, I can automate this once I get access to the coal generator. Then I'm able to AFK while it gathers the resources. So I'm going to do that. I've only got to do 50 reinforced plates and 50 rotors. And then I can just make them the um, smart plating as well through the craft bench. So let's have a look. Rotors. So I'm going to need tons of screws and some rods. I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back when I've got 50 smart plating. Right, I've made the materials, um, the reinforced plates and the rotors, so if you remember, because I didn't remember, the smart plating is too complex to make at the workbench, so you have to make it through uh, an assembly. But that's okay, because guess what? I got them. And Oh, did I not do the rotors? All right, being silly, but that's okay because I've got the resources I need to make them. So let's have a quick look. I thought I'd made them. I'm totally losing the plot. There you go, C50. Right, I'll pause and be back once the 50 are done. See you in a sec. Right, so there we are, there's 50 rotors, it should now be happy. Yeah, it saved me a tonne of biofuel just doing it by hand there. Like I say, when I've got a coal, access to coal generators, then I can fully go fully automated. But until then, I'm uh, just doing it the manual bits like that myself. Right, let's get a pole over here. And this I'll obviously be, this assembly machine I'll be ripping up once I automate. Alright, um, how much power does it use? I didn't check that. 15 megawatts. Oh well, I've got plenty of power. Yeah, it's well below the usage, the capacity. Right. Let's put somewhere to store them.
actually I'll just put them in the bottom for now so now we've just got to see how long it'll take what I'll do is pause it because again it's probably going to take look at this this is like you know you're on just getting on the advanced early products so yeah it takes time I'll pause and I'll be back when it's reached 50 or near to 50 back in a sec right okay so it's finally finished oh it took a while um, if we go in here now we should see yay there we are 50 smart plating right let's make that space elevator happy let's feed it because it's hungry um, yeah so this first upload is next to nothing but you wait and see when we get to when we want to unlock tiers 5 and 6 we got to work it work it baby yeah still got to sort this mess out but you know what this is what we want to do right okay so once you've loaded them in there you've got to pull this handle to seal tells us sealing there's a little animation cool and then send so pull it down and send and if we look isn't that cool so it sends it up into space Ooh, nearly fell off the edge. I think we're waiting for some sort of notification. Um, let's check the hub term. Oh, here we go. So, right. That's unlocked. And there we go. There's the next episode. We will start on tier 3 and oh this is the one I want look at that we'll have access to coal when we get access to a coal power and I finally hook up coal generators that's when we can you can AFK play and that's when we can fully automate everything once we get that but that will be the next episode wherever you are in the world God bless you and keep you safe thank you for watching and have a fantastic day goodbye